Hey you guys, welcome back. My name is Klaus and thank you for tuning in to today's episode of Fix That Rush. And that means we're on our Town Hall 10 Rust account, guys. As you can see, for those of you that are new, we have a Town Hall 10 with a level 1 queen, a level 2 king, pink walls. It's just it's just bad, guys. Um whenever we first uh inherited this account, we actually had uh, Town Hall 8 level Barch, and right now our uh, archers are going to be finishing in the laboratory. It's going to be a an amazing thing having Town Hall 9 level Barch, and then hopefully in today's episode, we'll be able to put down our Barbarians going to level 7, which will be uh, the start of level 10 or Town Hall 10 level Barch, which will make a huge difference in our attacking ability. Uh, so today we're going to be doing something very, very special. I was asked, I mean... There was such a huge and amazing response to the last one hour hashtag Barch and Chill. Um, I did that for 10,000 subscribers a few weeks ago, and you guys really seem to enjoy it. So today, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a one hour Barch and Chill. I'm going to be boosting my barracks, boosting my king and my queen. We're going to be Barching, and I'm not going to cut out any of the searching. Look at that, guys. Archers level six. That is amazing. So if we go back in, as you guys can see, the laboratory upgrade level eight. If you have not seen the previous episodes, guys, um, I recommend you do that. But uh, here, let me let me stop real quick and tell you. So if you're thinking about, there's no way I'm going to watch a one hour video. I understand. I get it. Uh, I don't, I'm not even sure if I would, but come back and watch it whenever you have a chance because there's going to be a lot of things discussed as we barch and chill. Uh, I'm going to be talking about clans. I'm going to be talking about recruitment. I'm going to be talking about the future of the channel. I'm going to be talking about everything that you can imagine. So, uh, anyway, for the, so for those of you that are thinking about stopping, I understand, come back later and watch the video. But anyway, so in a previous episode, I upgraded my laboratory to Town Hall 10 Max while the uh, archers were upgrading in the laboratory. Now, uh, a lot of people were saying, you know, whenever you do that, you cancel your upgrade. And I, 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 uh, I understand why you think that, but that did not happen. As long as you have an upgrade going, see this uh, level 7 archers is, is a 14-day upgrade. You know, if I was to start this and then start the upgrade for the laboratory and say it was an eight day upgrade, this is all theoretical. OK, there is no there is no level for the lab up above. Actually, there is. Woo, that's for Town Hall 11. Nice. I forgot about that. So it's a seven day upgrade, right? Imagine we are Town Hall 11s. If I was to have this upgrade going in the laboratory, I just started it today. That means there's 14 days left. If I was to start my laboratory going to level nine, it would be a seven day upgrade. They're going to go simultaneously. This upgrade, this laboratory is going to finish seven days later, and the archers are going to have seven days left. 14 minus seven is seven. So that's how it works. That's how it works for those of you that were freaking out in the comments sections. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, I've got a couple of barch trained up, and then I'm going, I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and boost everything actually, but let me collect this real quick and then we're going to go out on the warpath now i have been upgrading my extra elixir collector and gold mine i have two builders that we can use at the end of this video so if you do intend on skipping don't want to watch and listen i understand like i said you guys are more than welcome to skip to the end probably the last couple of minutes where we start the upgrades and um finish out the video correctly so anyway guys i'm very excited this isn't for any particular reason it's not like we just hit twenty thousand or a hundred thousand subscribers it's just for fun one hour barch and chill on chunk hammer and actually one of the uh topics of discussion today is going to be changing the name of chunk hammer to something else we'll talk about in a second but i have my water ready guys because one hour of talking it's going to be an experience so guys for those of you that want to stop and barch and chill with me or boost your barracks and do whatever with me. Now's your time because I'm going to go into the barracks and I'm going to boost in three, two, one, bam, 30, um, 30 gems. And I've got about a thousand. So that's good. I'm going to boost my queen and my king. Um, not that that's really necessary. The only level one and two, but it's all good. So anyway, guys, I'm going to, like I said, I'm not going to be cutting any of this out, just like the previous Barch and Chill episode. Um, I'm always looking for about 200,000 Elixir in the uh, the Elixir Collectors. Uh, because we are doing Barch, we can't penetrate the base. And um, I'm hoping that it's easier now with these level 6 archers because it has been such a struggle to get loot lately um, that I'm I'm very frustrated to be honest with you and I'm not entirely sure how much loot we'll end up with at the end of this video I may have to record this 
and then cut it, do another boost in my free time, and then come back and record the upgrade in the laboratory. Uh, that is a, a last ditch effort to get something done on the base. But in 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 reality, guys, it is difficult. It is not easy. Um, and I think the first thing I'd like to discuss as we search is the um, is my room. As you can tell, the background is for for those of you who are detail oriented. You're probably thinking, what happened? His his computer moved, his uh, his webcam moved because the angle of the background is actually different than normal. And that is because if you look behind me right there, there is a white screen. Ooh, this is a nice find. It's a it's a Rush Town Hall 10 and just like me, it's a Rush Town Hall 10 and uh, it is dead or, or not so alive, you know, so that's awesome. Let's get this. Now, I love using my king and my queen for, um, you know, sniping gold in the elixir or whatever we end up running into. So let's just see what we end up with there. I will return to the discussion about the background in my room in just a moment. There's some big things happening in the Klaus studio, um, if you will. So we're going to prioritize elixir first and foremost. So the only elixir left on the base is on the left hand side. So let's drop our king and our queen. They're going to start taking out this Tesla. They should step up and get that elixir collector. Hopefully the king goes and uh, works on the, that's the wrong wall, bud. That is the wrong wall. I don't have a, a special ability, so that means that once the king dies, the queen is going to have to uh, deal with things on her own. I'm hoping she'll get that elixir collector right there. Uh, oh, no, we're going to have to work on the clan castle. Okay, this is going to be a struggle. Now all that's left is splash damage from that mortar, so we should be able to get that um, clan castle. And then we'll get the elixir collector and then we'll call it. Um, like I said, prioritizing elixir. I've got tons of elixir upgrades I need to do, uh, especially in the laboratory, but not just in the laboratory, on the base itself. And uh, to be able to get <laughs> to be able to get at least one of those done today would be awesome. Uh, since we do need six million. Oh crap, I'm dying. Oh man, my queen died. Oh man. That was rough. 225,000 elixir. That's actually really, really good. I am pretty satisfied with that. Um, so I would like to apologize for uh, first and foremost for the, the the picture. If I look different, if my if my camera's off or whatever, um, you, you if you've never been in film before, um, lighting is super important. And because I've moved locations in my room, which carries us into the the conversation to be had in a minute. Um, because I've moved locations, my lighting is off. My overhead lights in different position. My uh, side lights are off a little bit, and um, I wanted to just film this. So bear with me. Uh, we'll have we'll actually have a green screen hopefully by the end of the week. Today is Friday, so um, hopefully stuff is coming in the mail, and we can actually get some things done. So I ordered some stuff I needed, special lights and things. I've already got the green screen. Uh, I'm just kind of waiting on things to come in the mail. So. Anyway, that is the explanation, guys. Um, big things happening in the class studios. We are working on, I say we, but it's just me. Uh, <laughs> I'm working on a, uh, a green screen, like I said, behind me, some over my right shoulder there. And uh, it's going to be pretty awesome because I'm, I'm not just working on gaming. I'm working on a whole new uh, recording studio set up and it's actually a standing setup to where I'm not just seated and boring I'm actually standing while I'm recording it'll still be chest up it's not like you have to see my feet or anything weird but it's it's just the freedom to move around it'll be better for my it'll be better for my health and I'm excited about it to have a standing recording studio uh, with all the correct lighting and green screen and everything. It's going to be pretty awesome, guys. So that's that explains the movement of my uh, current recording spot was um, just having to make room for a second desk, which is tall. So it's going to be pretty sweet. Um, so that was the quick version. The The long version of that story is that I was... I was just considering it for a long, long time, trying to get a standing recording studio or recording station. And uh, I've been bringing it up with my dad, and you guys met him a long time ago in a video. And uh, actually, this looks like a decent, decent base to attack. Let me use my king there. And then I'm not going to spam my troops everywhere. I'm just going to do kind of like a semicircle around the base here. So you guys have met my dad. He's been in uh, the uh, occasional, or at least been in, I think he's been in one um, vlog. And uh, so he was here at the house. We were talking about, you know, how to set up a recording studio where I could stand, just enjoy it, set up a green screen. And um, he, it was his idea to use these shelves that can be adjusted. And uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm really excited about it. I'm excited about having that set up 
figured out. Um, and uh, lighting is a big problem. <laughs> Uh, for those of you, any of you guys that are in media at all, uh, you understand that lighting is huge whenever it comes to recording. And it, it's good that it's only like this small section of the screen. So if I make any mistakes right off the bat, it's not like you guys will uh, crucify me for it because you can't see. It'll just it'll just look a little like right now. It looks a little off that back corner over my back shoulder is a little dark and it just looks sinister. You know what I mean? Uh, just being real guys, just being real. So the, the nature of a bar until chill episode is it's kind of like a live stream. Um, I, I'm not allowed, I'm not able to, uh, live stream them because of the timing of the day that I have to record. I just feel like it's not that I can't, it's just that I feel like it's best to just record these and upload them, uh, whenever it's most convenient for me. So, um, Anyway, that's uh, that's my quick explanation for that. I think I just lost my train of... Oh, so the nature of the Barch and Chill episodes is we've got these moments where things are training or we have those moments when we're trying to find a base and uh, there's dead moments where I've got to come up with commentary and so it will seem very raw. I might lose track of my thoughts. It happens, guys, but if you will bear with me and enjoy this uh, one-hour episode, uh, then... Uh, is good, guys. I'm, I'm hoping that y'all are getting loot at the same time I am and that we're able to enjoy this together. Um, but anyway, guys, this is my progress base. All of you know at this point probably what a progress base is. It's a way for me to keep track of what's max and what's not, obviously. So the top left hand, the top and the left hand side of the base are maxed buildings, basically all the gold mines, electric collectors, gold storages, electric storages, and obviously the builder's huts don't upgrade. So that is up there. And then everything else needs to be upgraded. Like this base was mega rushed whenever I got it. And oh, we got 10 seconds. Awesome. Uh, I'll run you through this whenever we get another uh, moment of silence. Uh, but essentially, we have a lot of work to do on the base. So uh, one second. And boom. All right. So I've got Barch on the quick train, so it's really easy to just click the button and get it going. And it saves us a lot of time having to do barracks management. That That is huge for the upgrade that came out or the update that came out lately for Clash. Um, and um, I'm actually a lot lower in the trophies than I'd like to be. I've been just simply barching because that's the only troops that I really have that are decent. Um, and I, I intend on maxing my Barch troops and then probably doing Giants. But what I was saying was my trophy level. I really want to get my trophy level up to, you know, 15, 1600. And uh, I believe there's more dead bases with loot and in that realm because I'm a Town Hall 8. My, my, other, my other account is a Town Hall 8. And um, I find loot on that account all the flipping time. I mean, like 400, 500,000 gold and elixir is amazing you know so i i uh, i'm hoping to get my tunnel 10 up there to uh, be able to take advantage of some of those dead bases um but uh you know whenever you're just barching sometimes you lose attacks and whenever you lose attacks you drop in trophies and of course you guys have seen my defense level i lose every time somebody attacks me so i really have to do these these one hour or two or three hour sessions in order to actually find some loot all right so i think we'll we'll have about uh 150,000 elixir in this base and i'd rather get it and continue searching with another army than continue searching so um very inefficiently and, but it's enjoyable to spam these troops around. Having the king and the queen it has made all the difference, though, to be honest with you. Uh, because now if I miss out on a certain section, I can just send in my king and queen and snipe a building or two. Which is way nice, because you guys saw it in episode one of this Let's Fix That Rush um, series. We ended up finding, um, finding out that <laughs> we had um, no queen and a level two king. Now, we have, we have a queen. We still have only a level two queen or king. So it's... It's been a huge struggle, guys. Um, let's get this elixir storage. That that is wonderful. Get it. Yes. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. All right, so if we can grab another storage, that would be just simply ideal, wouldn't it? Let's drop this uh, king there for distraction, and then the queen for that gold or that elixir storage there. The only thing targeting the queen right now is that wizard tower, which does very little damage. Um, and then once we grab that elixir out of the storage, we'll be good to go. We'll probably uh, cut out of here. I don't know how much loot we got. It is slim pickings out here, guys. It really is. Oh, no. Two expos. They're both level two. Melt that level two king. And then the queen's going to step up and get destroyed. So I'm going to get out of there. But anyway, almost 200,000 elixir. Remember, guys, that is almost my minimum. But really, 
I, I'll take anything I get. I'm, I'm really not to all that choosy because it is hard to find loot. Now, for those of you who this is the first episode you've seen of maybe the, the Fix This Rush or Fix That Rush series that I've got going, this series here, um, there is a huge disadvantage to rushing. Uh, once your town hall level is above the uh, the... Basically, a Town Hall 10 attacking a Town Hall 9 gets less loot than a Town Hall 9 attacking a Town Hall 9. Uh, and that's just because of what they call the loot penalty. We talked about that before in previous episodes if you want a more in-depth discussion on that. But essentially, uh, unless you're engineering and you've got really good troops and really good offensive buildings and capability, um, going up a Town Hall level is almost always a bad idea <laughs> unless you've maxed your base. Uh, and of course... You know, there's there's certain strategies that war players are using right now, not upgrading defenses, staying low in the war ranks, using war weight. Uh, that's also a, a possibility and something that we're kind of flirting with right now, uh, not because we can't upgrade defenses is that we can't find gold uh, <laughs> and all the gold that I find I would, I would like to put into these traps and let me see I've got 46 seconds I can quickly brief you on what I've got going on here so this first row starting with this gold mine all the way across to this barracks level nine those are all elixir upgrades and actually kind of my priority list so I'm getting the resource buildings done first you know gold mine gold storage dark elixir storage dark elixir drills etc and then the uh, spell factory I'm getting all these done first because it's free loot and it's it's useful stuff. Um, and then this up here, Elixir Collector, Elixir Storage, and then the Teslas, the Clan Castle, and then all the bomb stuff. Those are all the traps and the gold upgrades that we need to do. Um, traps and stuff don't add much to war weight and they're cheap and quick. So if I need to just fill up a builder uh, because I can't record or something like that, I'll probably use a builder on a trap because they're cheaper. Um, these are just army camps. I couldn't fit them all in the bottom layer. Those are actually the top priority for any elixir I grab other than the laboratory. So I'll be upgrading these army camps if I can. They're 2,225,000 elixir. Um, and then, of course, we got a heroes town hall level, just town hall just for looks. I've got my laboratory up here, which we'll probably never be done with. And um, then we have our defenses. Air defense would be first. Uh, Archer uh, uh, Archer Tower would be second. Uh, we'll probably throw in air sweepers in there as well just because I like to defend air. Uh, and then the cannons, then the wizard tower, and then the mortar, and that's based on war weight as well. So if uh, we ever get all these traps and uh, offensive buildings done, then we'll start on the defenses. But I doubt we're going to get that anytime soon. So anyway, we have our bar our barch troops. Let's go back in and find another raid. Um, and this is the kind of stuff I keep finding, guys. It's like it's like dead bases or or not so alive bases, but they have very little loot. And that's the uh, that's also one of the issues with having low level troops is that you can't you can't hit high level bases. So if I find a base with tons of loot, but it's a high level base, I know I can't hit it because right now, right now I'm operating with town hall nine level barch and very, very weak heroes. So I'm, I'm severely limited, uh, but we'll, we'll get it figured out. Don't y'all worry, but let's, let's switch over topics now to something a little bit off topic. And that is the name of this account. Um, I, ooh, oh my goodness. This is another, oh, whoa. Okay, all right, let's see. Where is the, most of this elixir? It is on the left-hand side, some on the bottom. There is no elixir on the top right side. So we are going to prioritize our elixir grab here. Um, let me see. Can I get to this corner? Oh, there's a dang flipping Tesla. Okay, all right. Let's, uh, let's spam style some stuff, huh? Let's do this. Get it. All right. Double finger for uh, barbarians over there. Now let's throw down some archers. Tons of loot over here, guys. This is gorgeous. Oh, I also want to make sure and, and note that I understand. I realize that I'm not using any uh, music in this video. That's because an hour long series of video or a series of music is just hard to come up with and put together. It's more more time than I'm willing to put in. So I, you know, I invite you all to, uh, you know. Put down your own music playlist and play it behind uh, the video if you want to. Uh, that's that's just a good way to to um, take out any monotony in the sound of just listening to me talk. But anyway, um, it looks like we've got ourselves a, a conundrum here. We got two. We got one elixir collector on the left hand side and two on the right hand side. But there's a lot of defenses over here that can probably destroy our troops, and there really isn't anything too significant over here. So I think. The best bet would be to go with whatever one looks the fullest out of these two. Um, and I think the one on the left 
looks just as full as the one on the right. So let's drop our king for tanking, our queen for taking out that elixir, and then she'll step up. She'll actually take out the gold as well. She'll probably get that cannon, uh, but all that gold is useful, guys. This was a good find. I don't find these kind very often, um, and I, I usually get pretty lucky when I'm filming, so this is awesome. Uh, that's oh, that wizard tower is melting my troops. That's crazy. All right, let's get out of here. 279,000 elixir. That is good stuff. I don't really care about gold at this point. I mean, I do, but I don't, you know, it's, it's, it's a struggle, but anyway, what was I talking about? The name. All right. So chunk hammer. I mean, it's a, it's a creative name, but we do have the name change. Let me go in to uh, the settings and change name. So I get to change the name of this account. I didn't inherit it from a friend. Um, so what I'm going to do is once this video goes live, if you follow me on Twitter, my uh, handle is at Klaus underscore media. Um, if you go follow me at, on Twitter, I'm going to have a poll. It's going to be pinned to the top of my profile, and that poll will be asking what I should change the name of my account to. I've got several ideas. Um, I'm not entirely sure uh, right now which ones I want to put on the poll. I do like the name Archimedes, though. I, lo I love the name Archimedes. I think that would be really awesome. So that's going to be in, the, um, in the, the poll. But I'll have two or three, maybe four different suggestions of names that you guys get to choose from, or I'll have an other and if you select the other, respond to the poll with the name you want to suggest because, you know, uh, majority rules most of the time. Let's let's face it, majority rules most of the time. But um, because it's my account and I got to live with it forever, um, I'm going to pull creative license if somebody throws out a name suggestion that's better than all the rest, um, even if it doesn't get all the votes in the polls. So that's what I'd like, guys. I would love it if you guys would go onto my Twitter and if you guys would vote on the name change because I would like to change the name to something maybe a little, mo little bit more interesting. And um, the poll on Twitter will have a lot to do with it. So um, yeah, go. Uh, the link for my Twitter is actually in the description. So you can go follow me on Twitter through that link or just search me up on the handle. Um, once again, it's at uh, Klaus underscore media and um, answer the poll and and just follow because uh, I do post on there a decent amount, you know, not not every day, but well, actually, yeah, every day I post on there because I post videos every day. But anyway, that is uh, the the update with the name change. I'm pretty sure the poll will be a seven day poll uh, because uh, I've been I've been uploading these uh, episodes every week on a, a weekly basis. So if you want to um, to be involved in the selection of the name change of this account, uh, go answer that poll and uh, then look forward to the next episode of Fix That Rush where we'll be changing the name based on the poll or if somebody just gives me an amazing name in, the, in, in a response that I absolutely love. So anyway, there is the infomercial for the name change of this account. So let's move on to another topic and this one will probably be a pretty big conversation and uh, I don't even know everything about the conversation but I'm gonna do my best is the Knights of Zion um, that's the clan this is the clan that I have my my rushed account chunk hammer in and that's this is also the clan that I have my town hall 8 account that um, we're doing the let's play with so I've got two accounts in this clan uh, the Knights of Zion is my clan. I, I started the clan way back whenever I first started YouTube over a year ago. And um, we're always recruiting, guys. So if you would like, I will throw up the clan tag here in a moment. You guys are more than welcome to apply. If, uh, if you read the clan description, whatever you do, go in to apply. You'll see that I give a Discord link that you must apply on Discord. Uh, we do not accept any uh, in-game requests for uh, the Knights of Zion. And I believe the Boston Tea Party, my other clan, is being operated the exact same way. Um, I, it's not really my clan. It's just where my main account is. But anyway, um, I think it's important. Oh, okay, this is a beautiful, wow, this is a beautiful barge raid. Let's uh, let's just spam our troops. So spam the Town Hall 9 barge troops. Booyah. All right, there's that. And then we'll do this. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Yes, guys, I love this. Uh, I, I haven't been finding these kind of bases, but I think as my troops improve, I'm actually finding better bases. And hopefully as we, it's kind of like a snowball effect, guys. Whenever you start trying to fix 
a, uh, a rushed base. It's a snowball effect in the effect that whenever you first start trying to fix a rushed base, it is hard. I mean, you're like, you're struggling to get 50,000 elixir per raid. And as you go, it gets easier and easier to get loot. And then all of a sudden, you're not struggling as hard and you get to continue improving your base. Because remember, guys, we got walls, billions of golden elixir and walls. We've got millions of dark elixir to pour into into troops and in, into heroes. And uh, obviously, elixir for offense buildings, gold for defense buildings. It's it's going to be quite the journey, but I feel like it's getting better. I mean, 270,000 elixir is is absolutely gorgeous loot for uh, for this account. Trust me, I've... I've been struggling, <laughs> but uh, anyway, so there is that. Uh, we got uh, two minutes before that's done. Uh, so going back to the to the uh, the clans, guys. So the Knights of Zion. If I go in, actually, it's my clan. I can just click my clan. There you go. So it says uh, to apply with the Discord server. Uh, the link is in the description right there. So uh, type it in and apply on in the Knights of Zion. We accept. Now we only accept Town Hall 9s. We don't accept any more Town Hall 8s, and we'll get onto that discussion in a minute. Uh, but Town Hall 9s and up, make sure you're not rushed, and uh, and make sure that you've got decent heroes. If you have level 3 X bows, you will not be accepted unless your heroes are maxed. You know, you've got to have that ethical upgrading mindset. For those of you that don't know what ethical upgrading means, it means that you're upgrading things uh, slowly, while your your offense is being created and being developed. Uh, so for instance, if you are a Town Hall 9 and you've got a level 5 queen, you should not have X bows. In fact, I believe the Knights of Zion, my other co-leaders who kind of created these parameters, say that if you're going to have level 1 X bows as a Town Hall 9, you should have at least level 15 king and queen. Uh, so if you if you meet those expectations and those standards and your walls are not rushed and all that, then you are more than welcome to apply to the Knights of Zion. We'd love to have you. We have uh, we've been really doing well in war, actually. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed uh, because I'm not able to war, you know, nonstop with this. It's my my rushed account as the leader there, not my rushed account, my Tunnel Late account, and so I'm not as uh, involved as I'd like to be yet. Um, but it's been an amazing amazing experience. Shout out specifically to Red Shoe for uh, really taking advantage of of my my absence and kind of running the show and special shout out to Mr. Matt as well for uh, being our war general. He's kind of the guy that that plans the attacks and says, you know what, we need you to attack this person because of this reason. And he helps with people with attacks probably more than anybody else, uh, you know, planning three star attacks and stuff. So Mr. Matt gets that special shout out. Um, both of those guys are co-leaders. I'd like to also specially shout out uh, Ravindu. Um, Ravindu has been featured in a recent um, war recap. Uh, I think it was last weekend, not this, not this recent weekend, but the one after or before that. Um, Ravindu does an amazing job with donations, war donations. He is a, a beast at uh, organizing that with other people helping with war CCs and such. So uh, special shout out and thank you to you, my friend. And uh, I don't want to sit here and thank all the uh, co-leaders of the Knights of Zion, but they have all done such an amazing job. I just wanted to stop and thank them all for that. Um, so um, Armchair General, he's kind of like an OG. He's been around forever. He's a beast. And um, and lastly, actually, you know what? Let's put our queen down take out this town hall. Yeah, we're going to get the one star. We might even get a two star. Um. I might drop my king. If I don't get two star, I'm going to drop my king and take uh, one of the altars. So hold on. Hold on one second. We'll get this town hall and then we'll go from there. Uh, 50%? Nope. Okay. Drop the king. Tank the queen. Queen takes out the queen. Queen takes out the altar. In battle. Booyah. Two star. All right. So that was nice. Uh, 194,000 plus a loot bonus. Almost 200,000 elixir and a little bit of dark elixir, which is unusual for a barge raid. Um, unless you really, really try, but anyway, armchair general, uh, being a leader at Knights of Zion, being kind of like the voice of reason in a lot of, in a lot of ways, uh, very, uh, special thank you to you, my friend and Crossbox is, uh, taking advantage of, um, of helping people with bases. Uh, so if you need a base Crossbox is a guy to talk to. So that's, that's all the special shout outs for Knights of Zion. Knights of Zion is the, 
is the uh, the coin that's featured above my head, way up in the top corner, because this account is in the Knights of Zion. And I think that moving on from there, we can return to that discussion of the Town Hall 8s no longer being accepted in the Knights of Zion. Um, I have a clan. Let me see if I can... Actually, I don't think I have it here. If I type in Jericho Rising... If I type in Jericho Rising, you can see that it is a pretty much dead clan. Now, if you look, Solomon is the leader, and Solomon is another one of my mini accounts. And I'm talking mini, like Town Hall Level 4 or something, whatever that is. And um, I've been really... What's the best way to put it? Convicted, I guess, because I know that a lot of you guys out there are Town Hall 7s, your Town Hall 8s, and none of my clans are accepting Town Hall 8s anymore. And so... I'm considering, it's not open yet, the, the whole thing hasn't been set up yet, but I'm considering opening up the uh, Jericho Rising for um, Town Hall 8, Town Hall 7, lower level war. And uh, of course, I'll be running it, but I've got several guys, several awesome guys from the Knights of Zion, probably Boston Tea Party as well, that are interested in helping us out and getting that thing off the ground. So uh, it's a level one clan or two, so it's very low level, but I've got a uh, Max Town Hall 11 that's willing to help a donation. So it's going to be good, guys. I'm just letting you guys know. I'm giving you guys a sneak peek. If you're an OG fan and you're watching this right now, you deserve to know this before anybody else, that um, Jericho Rising is likely going to be opening up as a lower level war clan, a serious war clan. I mean, it's going to be for real. There's going to be a a real recruitment process and everything that I'm going to be running. And uh, that's uh, that's kind of in the works. So I wanted to give you guys the update on that. So moving on from the Knights of Zion, we'll move and talk about the Boston Tea Party. Um, Boston Tea Party has been the clan that I've been in for a long time, and I'm a co-leader there. I'm next in line to become the leader there if the current leader steps down. And it has been a, a whirlwind at the Boston Tea Party. I mean, we have... We've had our ups and downs. We've won tons of wars. We've lost a few. Um, and it's all because we keep getting put up with engineered clans that have like Town Hall 11 offense and Town Hall 7 defense. It's ridiculous, by the way. Supercell, if you're watching this, fix that. So it's terrible. But anyway, so Boston Tea Party and I have uh, an amazing relationship. And I'm very excited to announce that we'll probably be together forever. Um, and I want you guys, I want to encourage you guys to apply at the Boston Tea Party before or after the Knights of Zion. I, I'm not going to say one has priority over the other. It's just up to you, whatever one you want to try to join. Uh, but the Knights of the Boston Tea Party accepts Town Hall 9s with level 20 heroes, king and queen only. Um, unless you've got like no X bows and you're a level, you have like 15, 15 or something like that, that would probably be accepted as well. But uh, 2020. Heroes, um, and if you have level uh, three expos, you've got to have max hero. You've got to have max heroes if you have level three expos. Um, that's just something we watch for. But um, I, I want to encourage you guys to to try to join those clans, the Boston Tea Party Knights of Zion. Uh, good clans. We're we're recruiting. We're excited about continuing to grow our clan family. We call we. The, I'm gonna attack this base because I want to. Um, we call the uh, the Boston Tea Party Knights of Zion a clan family. And uh, it's just pretty sweet. It's pretty awesome. So that is that. Um, what else, guys? Another clan I like to uh, point you guys' attention to, and I'll show the clan tag of both the Boston Tea Party and, uh, well, yeah, I'll show the, the clan tag of the Boston Tea Party here in a minute. Um, but another clan I'd like to direct y'all to is the Legacy. Guys, the Legacy right now is like a 20 win streak or more. They've been winning like crazy and they're recruiting. So guys, uh, they're another uh, member of the UWA, which is our clan alliance. And um, we, we take care of each other. So I wanted to direct any, if either one of you guys or any of you guys try to get into the Boston Tea Party Knights design, you're not accepted for whatever reason, go apply at the Legacy. Um, they're an awesome clan. Like I said, they're on like a 20 win streak. So they're the real deal. And uh, you will not regret it if you uh, join one of those guys. So the Legacy is a pretty balling clan. I'm actually going to be heading to the Legacy with my main account here pretty soon and uh, doing a war, covering a war with them. It's going to be a lot of fun. So anyway, that's that. Uh, the, the Legacy is awesome. I'm gonna, let's go through the other clans in our UWA, the United War Alliance. Uh, 
The next clan I'd like to talk about is Philly. Um, Philly, I believe, is also on a 20-something war win streak. Uh, they, they're, they're a awesome clan. Actually, this is amazing. Before the friendly war challenge kind of got put into play, uh, we warred against Philly. We It was a regular war. We didn't know who they were. We just matched up with them randomly, and we barely, Boston Tea Party barely beat them by you know, just a little bit, just barely beat them. And then about a month or two later, we randomly matched up with Philly again, a second time. And I actually covered that war in a recap. If you want to go watch it, but, um, we warred with Philly again, we barely beat him again. And I think at that point we were like, this clan's the real deal. So, uh, we actually went over and, uh, talked to them for a while and been, invited them to our clan Alliance. And that's, that's how it ended up happening guys. So, um, what can I say? I mean, it's kind of a crazy coincidence matching up with the same clan a second time and barely uh, like it being a super close war both times. I mean, can't get any better than that. That was some superb, superb fun in the Clash of Clans war community. And I mean, what can I say, guys? We, we've we really enjoyed having Philly. Um, I'll put up their clan tag, too, if I can find them. I believe they're a level 10 clan, probably higher. I'll look in a second. Actually, I can look right now. Uh, clans, do I? What are what are my bookmarks? Okay, just those because this is my rush to count. So if we search for Philly, and if we filter and go to minimum clan level ten, there we go. That's it right there, Philly. There is a clan tag, and there is. Uh, oh look, see Klaus gaming on YouTube. That's awesome. Um, go join their clan, guys. Twenty-two war win streak. They've got a couple of open spots. And I'm sure they'd be willing to uh, try you guys out if you'd like to. So there's the Philly. Let's look up the legacy while we're here. Um, I think it's one word. Maybe it's two. The legacy. That's it right there. The uh, the Black Hawk on. There is a clan tag for that one. They're in a 23 war win streak. They got a website if you want to go try to apply there. They're pretty full right now. But uh, there's those special shout outs for those two clans. Uh, both awesome guys. Awesome. The, the co-leaders are awesome. Um, there's more, there are more clans to talk about in the United War Alliance, but I've got a raid. So give me a quick moment. Uh, I got my Barch raid going. Barch and chill guys. How long has it been? It's been almost 30 minutes since I've been recording already. It's, it really does. It goes by pretty fast actually, but I don't think we're going to get that 6 million elixir that we need. We might end up with two or three at the end of this. Um, let's just see how it goes. Problem is, um, because I'm so low in the trophies, I really need to get up there in the trophies. I just don't have a way to. I really have no way to, aside from just brute force raiding and um, you know raiding a lot and winning as many as I can, trying to get those 50%. And as you notice, guys, if it wasn't for that queen and that king, I would not have gotten. I wouldn't have won that previous attack where we used our uh, our king to distract the enemy queen, and then used our queen to kill that queen, and then that altar. We wouldn't have gotten that win if it weren't for having a queen. So uh, heroes are awesome. Let's just say that. Let's just say even if they're level one, they are still super awesome to have on the base. Um, so I'm trying to win as many as I can. Having the queen really helps, and hopefully we can get up into mid gold league uh, for the for the next episode and uh, have plenty of loot to grab. But at this point, guys, you guys can see the average rate is 50,000 elixir. I mean, that barely covers our cost, if it if at all. So it's been quite the struggle. Rushing is terrible, guys. For those of you that hold against that opinion, for those of you that think rushing is fine, watch this and see the torment. I mean, it is terrible. It's awful being uh, being rushed and having to to struggle through searching bases forever and ever. Uh, this is the real deal, guys. This is the real life. This is the real life. This is the fantasy. C caught in a landslide. Escape from reality. I think that's what it is. Let me know in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Good stuff, guys. Water. It's the best drink in the world. Yep. Still looking for, for loot, guys. Um, <laughs> this is the moment in a regular video when I would have said, all right, guys, well, I'm going to 
I'm going to cut it here. I'll be back with you guys in a moment when I find a base. Like that's that's usually what I say in this, these moments when I've been searching for a while and I run out of things to say at the moment. But that's uh, that's OK, because right now we're barching and we're chilling. So, ooh, can we get this loot, guys? We're going to have to break through the base. I might use my king for tanking. Where is most of this elixir? It looks like most of the elixir is actually on the south side of the base in that collector there. So we're going to go. We're going to go right at this base with our king and some barbarians to break into the base. Uh, unfortunately, our king is going way off into Wonderland there. Let's drop our queen too. And then I'm going to drop all these barbs. So not all of them. We're going to drop a lot of these barbs and a lot of these archers to uh, hopefully do some serious damage on this base, guys. Um, King is still doing some tanking. That's awesome. I've got the rest of my barbarians. I'm going to hold on to some archers. Probably about 20. Yeah, that'll work. All right. And now look at this, guys. So we got our queen. These archers, level six. First time really noticing that. Doing some work, guys. Tank, taking out all these splash damage buildings. Take out that wizard. Yeah, the wizard tower's down, guys. We're going to grab all that elixir over there. How's the uh, the grabbing over here doing? We're going to take out that archer tower. Um Let's take out this dark barracks over here, too. We got a lot of the loot, guys. This is pretty awesome. My queen is working on the inside compartments right now. Take out that wizard tower, girls. What are you doing? Oh, man. Why would you do that? All right. Our king is down, guys. Our king is down. I need these queen. I need these girls to take out this wizard tower. There we go. All right. Get this elixir, babies. Get them. Get it. Come on. Get it. Yeah, buddy. All right, we're getting a lot of loot in this raid, guys. Uh, our queen is working on the, uh, the inside stuff, which there probably isn't a lot of loot in there anyway. Missing a lot of a lot of the gold, but right now we're not strong enough to kind of be picky. We just got to do what we can. So um, queen's working on the gold storage. We'll get the town hall, and then we'll cut out of here because there's no sense in us hanging around. Actually, I don't know if we're going to get the town hall. Queen. Okay, she's locked on to the town hall. We're good. We're good to go. Uh Man, that was a good find. I, I don't find loot like that very often in this in this series, uh, but that was awesome. So, um, and also we dropped, we missed a lot of dark elixir. But like I said, you really, I, I'm not strong enough to be picky. So let's get out of here before the queen takes up too much damage. Three hundred eighty thousand elixir, guys. That was nice, man. All right. So how much time is left in the boost? If I go over here, twenty two minutes. I need a quick train barge. I've already got my army ready. So let's go for it. Back to back raids. I love it. Um, what were we talking about before? I feel like I, I forgot something. Uh, we were talking about recruiting with other clans. So I've given you guys a list of several clans. Uh, there's another one that I want to mention two more, possibly three, just because our clan alliance is growing, which I love. I love that. I love the more, the merrier in our clan alliance. If you actually run a clan and you're interested in joining our alliance, you're more than welcome to. Uh, just drop by our uh, Discord server. Not entirely sure how you're supposed to find it other than maybe going through the link in the description. I will put a link in the description for our UWA Q&A. UWA questions and answers uh, that you guys can come uh, ask a few questions and, and talk to us. So uh, I hope I don't forget about that. If I did, please let me know in the comments because it is going to be quite the experience getting this video put together all right so here here's uh inside here's some inside information on production so for every minute that you guys watch on youtube it takes me about seven minutes to produce render it upload it etc so that means that if this video is a full hour that means that this video will take a total of seven hours to get done from start to finish so it's uh, it's quite the experience doing these one hour videos because seven hours is a long time. Um, so if I do forget to post that thing in the description, let me know in the comments. But anyway, I have a feeling I'm going to need to put a lot of stuff in the description for anybody who's interested in anything. Um, OK, so let's talk about another clan. I will show its clan tag in a moment. But uh, the clan is called Ireland. Ireland is a. A newer clan, I think. A newer... I'm not sure if it's newer. I won't say it's newer. I just haven't been that attentive. Um, Ireland is another clan I believe we warred with and ended up having join our alliance as well. And uh, they are they have some of the coolest leaders. Like, we, we really do have an awesome, close-knit family. I'm going to use that word because of the Klaus family. We have an awesome, close-knit family in our clan alliance. And 
the co-leaders of Ireland, the co-leaders of Philly, the co-leaders of another client I haven't mentioned called uh, um, Cat War Trial. Um, it's or Cat Trial War. I always forget which way it goes. Well, you'll see in the description. I'll have it put down correctly. But anyway, so Ireland and Cat Trial War, they are an awesome couple of clans. I'll show those clan tags in the video as well. But these are all clans that y'all are welcome to try to join. I don't know the minimum requirements to those clans, uh, but I'm sure they say in their in their uh, clan description, or I'm sure they say something about it in on their website if they have one, or on their Discord server if they have one, or or whatever. Whatever ends up being their their method of recruitment, you guys. So that what I'm saying is, um, with the addition of Jericho Rising, which is coming soon, we have a place for everybody. Um, not that we can take everybody, but we. There's a, there's a clan for Town Hall 11s. There's a clan for Town Hall 10s. There's a clan for 9s, 8s, 7s. I mean, everybody has a spot in the U the UWA, the United War Alliance. So uh, that is my all-inclusive UWA commercial. It actually, went, uh, it was pr actually quicker than I expected. I will show the clan tags from the other two clans in a moment. And, um, oh, I don't want to forget. I believe, I, I think it's pretty official now that the clan Terps Win Big has joined our clan or our alliance. Uh, Terps Win Big has actually been in the CWL Clan War League, and uh, they have they competed. Man, I don't know if they won or lost or what, but they were in it, and they they got several uh, rounds up. So they're the real deal. Um, I, I'm sure they don't need help with their recruitment, but if you know of that clan, if you want to join it, they're now in the UWA. You have a way to join it. Um, I recommend you do that. So we got, what, is, what was that, like eight clans that I mentioned now? Uh, the uh, UWA, the channel, the Klaus family has been exploding lately. Actually, you know what? To be honest with you guys, and I don't want to sound like I'm all into... I'm I'm all into what's happening, but I'm not I'm not kind of I'm not going to take the the credit for it. I mean, you guys are the ones that that are making this happen. But the the channel, the Klaus Gaming Clash of Clans channel, the Klaus family has been blowing up since we started. I mean, especially lately because of um, just a bunch of stuff that's happened. But guys, you guys are amazing. It really is incredible. I mean, we just celebrated 10,000 subscribers with our last Barch and Chill episode. How many weeks was that? Two or three? Now, um, we're we're probably going to hit 15,000 in just a few days. I mean, it's incredible. We had just hit 14,500 or we're about to. We got we just hit 500 more and we'll hit 15,000 people which is amazing. It, it's just incredible. I'm not going to say a lot about this. I've been saying a lot about this in other videos, but I just wanted to thank you all for your support. Y'all are amazing. For the OG fans that are still watching 47 minutes into my recording here, you're you're amazing and I love you. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, it, it looks like based on the timing, based on how much loot we have, that we're not going to hit that 6 million elixir mark. Uh, but that's fine. I'm, I'm giving you guys the real life experience as a rushed account. And I hope, I pray that if you are a rushed account, that you're able to see this. And um, or like if you're thinking about it, if you're considering rushing, that you'll see this, this searching, just trying to find loot. And you'll say, hmm, that doesn't sound that great. That does not look fun. And that you will uh, refrain because the <laughs> rushing is awful. It really is terrible. I'm finding bases with loot. You guys probably seeing that saying, why are you skipping that loot? But it's, uh, it's the base is too strong. The base is too strong. I have to have weaker bases. Um, wow, that's a lot of elixir in those storages, but I, I don't know if we're going to be able to penetrate those defenses. That's the problem. Um, I'm going to have to continue on our merry way. Whew, guys, so... What else, guys? What else can we talk about? Um, oh, so it was mentioned in a previous video, but I haven't really talked about it since. And if you're still around, then you are an OG fan. You already probably know about this. But um, another official announcement that this has happened is we now have a Klaus Gaming Discord server. There is an invite in the description below. It's included in my default um, settings for uploads. But um, it's a Discord server for Klaus Gaming family. The, the family, you guys can, uh, if you don't have Discord, it's a free app. Just join it and then come join our server. And it's got a, a chat and everybody's in it. You guys can come join the party. We hang out. I say hi on occasion, drop by, talk to people. 
And it's a lot of fun. In that is also links to Discord servers for the other clans in the UWA. So it kind of has its own clan directory. If you want to, to get to know the clans a little bit better, um, I recommend you come join the Klaus Gaming, the Klaus family server and um, pay us a, vid- a visit and then get plugged in somewhere. Be, be awesome. Be really cool. So the link for that is definitely in the description because I know it's already there. Um, and I recommend everybody join it. It's not going to hurt you. And if, uh, you know, getting notifications on your phone kills your battery, or if you don't, don't want to deal with those notifications, it's really easy to mute the channel to where you don't get notifications, but you still have access to the channel access to me. When new videos go up, I post the link in that, uh, server in its own kind of like its own channel, its own chat. And, uh, you know, it's just a cool place guys. It's just a place to be able to connect with me on a more personal level. Hey, so this is some loot. Uh, let's just let's just spam everything out this way. There's a bunch of wizard towers, so I'm hoping that we can maybe get our king in there ahead of our barbarians and our archers. And I'm hoping that uh, we can keep our little troops alive while we take out, hopefully, all of this elixir and also all of the dark elixir, which is down here. So hold on one moment. Take out that mortar. That was good. We got a lot of archers on the left-hand side that are damaged. We, our Barbarian King is doing its work, guys. That is awesome. I think we'll be able to get that Dark Elixir. Yes. Yes. All right. So we're going to get all the Elixir and all the Dark Elixir in the base. The Wizard Tower was well distracted by our King. I forgot my Queen. Um, I probably should have used it to actually get that Elixir out of that storage over there. But no harm done. Um, queen kind of doing some work. We'll get the, uh, the Queen and the... King into the uh, the core there. That bomb killed a bunch of barbarians or a bunch of archers, guys. That was that was awful. But the queen will step up once this elixir storage is down and help out with the clan castle. And if we can get that town hall, I know that's where a lot of the loot still is. Uh, maybe we can get it. I'm loving that the mortars are targeting the heroes, or the, it was anyway. Um, the mortar on the right might end up destroying us. Let's just see what happens. Queen steps up, targets the town hall. And now I think the mortar is targeting the queen. So if we can get the... Oh, both mortars are. That's a problem. I don't know if we're going to have enough time, enough HP to kill that town hall and the queen survive. I mean, it's d- dropping so fast. Let's see. If you look, if you compare the health bars, I think we might be able to get it. It's going to be close, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it just for fun. Let's see. I think we're going to get it. Come on. Come on, Betty. This is baby Betty. All right, so that's two star. Let's close that before she dies. And 254,000 elixir. Booyah! That was awesome. All right, so uh, training up some more. It took us so long to find a base that the army's already ready. Now let's find us another base. I would love to find another one of those dead bases, like 500,000 golden elixir. That'd be nice. Like all in a corner with no defenses. Come on, man. Come on. (laughs) Let's do this. So we talked about clans. We talked about the the uh, Klaus Gaming server that is up now on Discord. It's just an app on your phone, or it's a it's a program on your computer. You can do either one. Uh, they don't spam your email or anything like that. It is totally worth it. We talked about Twitter. We talked about the name change. What else can we talk about before this episode ends, guys? Um, you know what? I would love to know if you guys will let me know in the comments. Um, your favorite series that I've got going on right now. And let me recap the series. The series is let me recap the series that I've got going on the channel right now. I've got lots of them. I've got my Town Hall 10 farming, which seems to be very, very popular. That's with my main account, which is not rushed. So we're able to do some fun attacks. Um, I've got my Town Hall 10 rushed account, which is this one. It's been getting some good views too, I think. So um, definitely would, uh, wouldn't surprise me if this one was the overall favorite. Um, series. I've also got my Town Hall 8 Let's Play, which uh, gets a lot of views too, and I really enjoyed making those because Town Hall 8's fun. Farming as a Town Hall 8 is the best. I mean, there is Golden Elixir everywhere. Dark Elixir, maybe not so much, but it is still a it's a fun experience. Let me drop my king. We'll break into this base here. There's really no splash damage yet. Not sure how this is going to go. Let me drop my queen. The rest of my barbarians, double finger deployment. Come on. And then my archers. I'll hold on to a handful just to see how things go there. All right, so our queen is still alive. We got tons of little uh, troops going in here. 
The uh, the splash damage is wrecking us so hard, but you know what? We're wrecking back, you know. So that's good. Uh, wow, actually, we're doing pretty well. Let me uh, let me drop the rest of my archers over here. Hopefully, we can get in there and take out this elixir out of that storage there or that collector there. Um, look at this line of archers. This is so sick. This is awesome. Now, this wizard tower does bother me a little bit. Uh, it takes two or three shots for a wizard tower to take out these archers because they are stronger than before good deal okay so we got the wizard tower now we've got these archers working on the wall um they are getting shot down one at a time by that archer tower i'm not sure if we're going to make it all the way through uh the queen is still alive but barely it doesn't look like we're going to get that so let's close out before we lose our queen we did get 157,000 elixir which is pretty decent and uh let's go back to our search there how, do, how are we doing, guys? I think we got almost 2 million elixir so far. So uh, that's not terrible. If we collect all this too, um, we're a little bit of ways away. We got nine minutes left in the boost. And it does not look like we're going to end up with our 6 million for the Barbarians level 7. So I think what I will do is um, after I finish this boost, I will cut the recording. I'm going to do some farming off camera because, it, you know, the lights and the voice and stuff, it goes pretty quickly. I don't want to do a two hour video. I think that's ridiculous. Um, but um, I'll do some more farming. I'll come back at the end of this video. We'll spend all of our loot and then uh, discuss the future because that's kind of always what we do. But Back to what I was talking about, and if I can remember what it was, that would be nice. Um, I did. I was promoted the gold league, though. That's nice. The loot bonus is a little bit more. Um, what was I talking about before, guys? I completely lost track of thought. Huh. Well, I'll remember it hopefully soon. I got forty-five seconds left to go. Oh, okay. So post in the comments your favorite series. I've uh, talked about Town Hall 10 farming. I've got a Town Hall 10 rushed account, which is this one. Town Hall 8, let's play. The uh, War Recaps is kind of its own little series. I've got the Basics of War series, which is it's small. I don't expect anybody to vote for that one, uh, but it is a series, and so it is up for grabs. And the best way to do that, guys, is if you see in the comments somebody had already suggested, you know, hey, the Town Hall 8 let's play is my favorite series. Don't post another comment saying that just upvote his comment or her comment because um, if there's a tally with the upvotes with the likes on the comment then I'll be able to keep track of it'd be easier to keep track of of what has the most favorites what has the most likes in comparison to the others uh, so that would be a great so if you if you do go through the comments you see no one has mentioned the series you like the most then uh, you comment it say it but if you see somebody else has already said it then just upvote the comment that way it's easy for me to keep track of what the favorite series are uh, you know, I like doing them all. I love the variety. I think it's, it's fun for me personally. It's keeping me very motivated to continue making content for the channel, but I like knowing what you guys like the most. I, I know I, I believe based on some previous statistics that I've, I've used with videos and with Twitter and stuff that the majority of my, uh, my fans are town hall nines. And um, I have a Town Hall 9 account. It's called Apollyon, not to be confused with WHF's uh, other YouTuber. Um, but I have an Apollyon Town Hall 9 account that I could very well be doing farming or war videos with. So if, if you want to see that, in a, as opposed to any of the other series that we've got going, let me know also in the comments. So you guys got you guys have a really big job in uh, telling me what you guys are interested in seeing on the channel as we talk about barching and chilling on my all Town Hall 10 rushed account. So um, a quick discussion I like to have and, a, and a, something I'll probably reiterate in a future video is the difference between rushing and engineering um, and ethical upgrading too. Well, let's talk about ethical upgrading first because it's one that I haven't seen mentioned as often and that's what I'm doing with my main account. Ethical upgrading is you max out the previous town hall level but you systematically upgrade your offense first before your defense. That's where you get Town Hall 9.5 or Town Hall 8.5. It's it's the uh, the offensive capability of a max Town Hall 9 or 8 with the defenses of a max Town Hall 8 or 7. And that's an ethical upgrading. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that's smart. Um, but if you continue pushing the envelope, say you have a Town Hall 7 max account and you take it to Town Hall 8, you never upgrade a, a single defense and all you do is upgrade the offense, the laboratory, the barracks, the army camps, etc., the spell factory. 
And then you get that done, and then you go to town all nine, and you do the same thing, and you max your king and your queen to level 30, and you max your walls and stuff, but you never put down the new defenses, you never put down an X-bow, you never put down anything. Your war weight, your ranking in war stays low, but your offensive capability is that of a max town hall nine. Uh, so that's engineering. Um, and engineering, it's... I don't want to say it's cheating because it isn't. It's allowed within the confines of the game mechanics. But I feel like the way war weight is determined needs to be adjusted. I feel like uh, making it primarily defense that determines your level in war is misguided. I think that we need an offense defense based war weight instead of just simply defense. That way, what would happen was all those people that have rushed uh, you know, they're Town Hall 10s, and we'll talk about rushing in more detail in a moment. But you have Town Hall 10s with Town Hall 8 level offense, but they've got these crazy defenses. They would actually look better in a war setting than a engineered account with no defenses. Um, and I, there are several ways to fix this. One of the things that have been mentioned is, say you're a Town Hall 9 rushed account. I mean, a Town Hall 9 engineered account, but you've got the defenses of a Town Hall 3 for instance. Well, one of the ideas was if you're a Town Hall 9, then you automatically have the war weight of a max 8. And what that would do is that would that would make people want to max the bases. And I think that is the best way to do it. Uh, that's one suggestion. Another suggestion would just make offense and defense half and half. I think that um, either one would solve our problem. I'm not sure which one is better. I'm not a developer. I'm glad I'm not a developer t today. I might be more interested in it in the future. Uh, but uh, War Wade is definitely something that needs to be addressed in the Clash of Clans community. Um, so we were talking about engineering, we're talking about ethical upgrading, and now we're talking about rushed accounts. Um, a rushed account is somebody who does not upgrade their laboratory, that does not upgrade their barracks, does not upgrade their dark barracks or their army camps, and um, you have the the offensive ability of a lower town hall level than you are. It's the opposite of engineering. And um, a lot of those guys, a lot of those people, you'll see like level 10 king and queen. You'll see level 7 walls, which are the purple walls. And then you'll see level 3 inferno towers. And so what that does is in this current, the, the way the war match and war weight works right now, you end up with a very high ranking in the war because you've got infernos, but you don't have the firepower. You don't have the offensive capability of somebody who is uh, supposed to be that high in the war ranking. You can't hit a Town Hall 10 with level 8 troops. I mean, you're seeing this on this series. So let's give it a metaphor. Let's give it Let's give it some uh, imagery, okay? A standard base, like mine, that has uh, a max troops and max defenses. Okay, my main account. Imagine that as like a gun. A, let's say a, uh, let's say a 9mm pistol, right? That 9mm pistol, the gun itself, is the base's defense. It looks like a 9mm pistol. And if it's a max base, the laboratory's been maxed, everything's been maxed, then it shoots a 9mm round. It, it is, it's going to shoot as expected. You understand what I mean? So they're, they're not lopsided. It, it, is, it does what it's supposed to do. Ethical upgrading is like upgrading from a standard nine millimeter round to maybe a maybe a magnum, a ballistic round or something upgraded. That's okay. That's normal. That's acceptable in the in the real world, right? But what about an engineered base? Well, an engineered base looks like a BB gun. You know, uh, you know, it shoots little bitty balls of nothing, right? That's what it's expected to shoot because it looks like a low level base. But an engineered base looks like a BB gun, but it shoots a nine millimeter shot. And that's not fair. That doesn't even make sense to me. You, you can't have that in the real world. It's, it's deceiving. It's, uh, it's, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't want to come off too strongly about this guys, but it's, it's true. It really is, uh, taking advantage of the system in a, in a way that I think is a little bit irresponsible. Because, let's face it, wars are won all the way up and down the ladder. So, if you're a top player, but you always get three-star in war, 
then you're not giving your clan 100% of what you're able to do. Upgrade your defenses. Defend yourself in war. All right, so let's talk. Okay, so uh, a, a standard base is a 9 millimeter pistol that shoots 9 millimeter shots. A, 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 an engineered base is a BB gun that shoots 9 millimeter, right? Well, a rushed account, somebody who has a really high defense but a low offense, that's like you're holding a 9 millimeter pistol, but it only shoots BBs. It it's undershooting, just like this now. I don't have the offensive capability to beat a base. And I can't find loot right now. This is crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> you guys see the struggle. But anyway, so a rushed base cannot hit a base that's supposed to hit. It, it just it does not measure up. So anyway, there there's your... Ooh, that's nice. You know what? If I can get my uh, my troops to take out the elixir on the top, I'll grab the the loot on the bottom with my king and my queen. So let's let's put down our barbarians four finger deployment real quick, not messing around. There we go. And then our archers four finger deployment, just like so. There we go. All right, let's see how we do, guys. Anyway, so that's. That's the metaphor, guys. That is explanation between a rushed account and an engineered account or an ethical upgraded account, a maxed account. There's like four or five different ways to manage your base. 9.5, ethical upgrading is totally cool. I mean, I get it and I, I like it. That's what I do. But um, otherwise, if you if you engineer your base, you're going to be a hindrance to your clan in, on defense. If you rush your base, you're going to be a hindrance to your clan on offense, uh, which is what I am now, actually. I'm, gonna, I'm a hindrance to my clan on offense. And it uh, looks like... Uh, Hey, it looks like this collector over here has more loot than this one down here. So let's go ahead and drop my king to distract, and then I'll drop my queen to take out that collector. Come on, baby. Get it. Yeah, dude. So this was a lot of loot, guys. I'm pretty stoked. And we're not going to win that battle, so let's go ahead and close out before we lose our queen. 366,000 elixir. That is, uh, that's acceptable. I'll, I'll take that. Um... <laughs> Go ahead and start up the barch. And uh, we've got... Oh, wow. Our boost is over, guys. We've got nine minutes before this is over. Wow. Okay. So our our barch boost is over. We have been here for an hour. This ha this goes by really quick, actually, for me, uh, which is good because sitting and recording for an hour, you know, sounds daunting, but it's not that bad. So anyway, guys, I've got 3,700,000 Elixir. I need 6 million to start this upgrade to level seven barbarian. That is definitely number one priority right now. So I'm going to cut the recording here. I'm going to go, I'm going to have some lunch because I haven't eaten anything and I'm going to rest my voice. I'm going to barch and chill on my own. I'm going to hopefully get the loot within another boost. Hopefully it only takes one. It might take two, uh, but we're going to get it. We'll come back and we'll spend all this loot and, uh, call it a day. So guys, I'll be back with you guys in just a moment. If I forgot anything I wanted to talk about, I'll also bring it up in the second scene. So I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Oh, guys, it has been a another full hour plus one raid. I actually had to sit for 20 minutes and wait for this final barge raid to show up. Uh, to finish up so I can get enough elixir. If you look up at the top right hand corner, 6 million, just a little over 6 million elixir for that laboratory upgrade, which I'm very, very excited for, by the way. But it has been one exhausting experience. Uh, this was actually a really good find. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send in my king and my queen at the uh, northeastern corner here to see if we can get in and maybe take that town hall. But um, it, it's a fairly, I mean, it was like a, it's like a dead town on 10, but it's level one expo. So I don't know what this person was going for. I mean, obviously it was like a rush base, but it didn't have infernos. So, uh, really hard to categorize this base, but anyway, the, uh, the king is doing some tanking. If we can get the king to tank for a little while, uh, it's only tanking a level one expo and a, a mortar that was there, but got shot down. So, uh, we're good there. The, the Tesla should start taking out our archers. The queen and the archers should take out the town hall. And uh, then we'll be good to go. So there we go. And let's close out because 
Why not? So that was a really good grab. That's probably the best grab I've gotten so far, actually. And it happened to be a first search, which is always nice. So 331,000 Elixir, and that will put us over the 6 million mark. And if I go into, let me collect, if I go into my Clan Castle treasury, I've got 197,000 Elixir. I think that came from two star bonuses, which is very nice. And so I've got 6,300,000 Elixir, guys. So, uh... If you're an OG fan and you watch the entire one hour Barch and Chill, you're amazing and I love you very much. If you're just now tuning in because you didn't want to watch the whole thing, I get it, but shame on you. Okay, so we're in the laboratory and it's going to be 6 million elixir to upgrade the Barbarian to level 7. It's a 14 day upgrade, which means we'll probably have an episode in between this and the finish and uh, we'll focus on army camps or something during that time. But 6 million elixir in 3, 2, 1, BAM! Man, all right, so 14 days, that's going to be pretty awesome, and uh, what that'll do is it'll open up a lot of time for us to work on elixir upgrades like the army camps, like the uh, the barracks and such. Right now, we don't have enough elixir to do anything. If I click the little builder, though, it's telling me to upgrade the uh, arch towers and the cannons, like the new, up, uh, new defenses, but I'm more interested in using our dark elixir. I, I actually just realized right before I hit the record button that I've got 28,000 dark elixir, and my Archer Queen to level 2 is actually 22,500. So that means we've got enough to start the Archer Queen. Uh, so let's do it. Uh, we need to get a level 5 for the special ability anyway. And uh, probably 10 before we start doing the Queen Walk. So let's go ahead and do this in 3, 2, 1. Bam. Sweet. All right. So we have no more Dark Elixir. We have no more Elixir. That means we need to spend our gold in some way or another. Unless the... Um, no, let's keep all the elixir. So we're going to spend gold. I think probably the smartest way to spend our gold, to be honest with you, is start this elixir storage. But I kind of like doing both the gold and elixir storages at the same time. So I'm going to wait on the storage. Uh, so I think the next best way to spend our gold would be this clan castle. But it's 7 million gold. We don't have enough for that. And I don't want to wait. Uh, so let's go ahead and start the hidden Tesla. That's 1.25 million gold, which means we've got gold to spend on walls which we have a lot of pink walls we need to be uh taken over to purple so if you get 5 million and you subtract 1.25 million you got about 3.75 million gold so let's go ahead and just spend that much here um i think yeah 2.4 that that'll work uh so we'll upgrade all of those there we go and then 1.25 minus 2.68 would be uh one point four three i guess is a pretty close guess so let's see 1.4 no that's too big what about this one here 1.2 that'll work awesome and uh, we can do them individually if we get to so um like i said the hidden tesla's 1.25 million gold and uh that means that i've got 200,000 gold left i can do one more so there that goes and now I can upgrade my hidden Tesla. It's a 3D upgrade, and it's 100, or 1.25 million gold. 3, 2, 1, boom. Nice. All right, so as a Town Hall 10, I've got, I think, seven levels for the Teslas. We're going to be working on Teslas forever, and I like Teslas because they're hidden. They keep your war weight low, and uh, they're, they're awesome. They're my favorite defense, by the way, behind the Inferno Tower, which uh, we probably won't be getting for a while. But I've got a lot of traps and stuff to upgrade, too, guys. I want to get both these storages maxed. I want to get these Gold Mine Lux Collector maxed. I want to get these Dark Lux Drills maxed. I need to get this Spell Factory upgraded. Uh, but you guys saw how difficult it is for me to find loot as a uh, as a rushed base so we'll just have to see what we get done if i do anything off camera i will hopefully remember and tell you guys otherwise it looks like that is going to do it for today's video thank you guys so much for tuning in and enjoying this journey with me please like this video if you liked it if you enjoyed it if you learned something if you are discouraged from ever rushing or if you are rushing or rushed that you have uh, gained a little bit of knowledge and experience and wisdom on the subject. And I hope that I've helped you in one way or another. So again, like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you have not joined the Klaus family. We'd love to have you. We're exploding. We're going to hit 15,000 very, very soon. It's going to be amazing. So anyway, that's it for me. I love each and every one of you and I will see you guys again next time.